Well, motorists and commuters are having a risky and harrowing experience at the Niger Bridge en route to the popular Onicha market. The reason for the nightmare is the erection of a, a gate at one end of the bridge by the Anambra State Government as part of measures to reduce interstate movement to stop the spread of the coronavirus. Iken Namichi has details. Mondays are really busy in Onicha, a city known for commercial activities. The crowd here is expected, though the number is unusually more because of the erection of a gate by the Anambra state government. The closure of the pedestrian bridge behind me did not stop the movement of people to and fro this border, but rather people are moving in this aspect of this bridge, causing vehicular and pedestrian traffic on the bridge, which is actually not so good. Assessing the bridge is a Herculean task for the people who cannot phantom the reason for the closure of the pedestrian bridge. It's, it's a very, very difficult thing passing through the main line because if eventually motor fares break here, it will have to kill a lot of people. As the coronavirus is so short, feed your children, not like me, so I'm not going to let me have my first children at the quarter. See the struggle at the corner, I see the struggle at the go. I don't know the meaning of the gate because they are still crossing. If the, it's not good because we are still crossing, we are, they are suffering us. If they are to put gate and say they are locking, then they should stop everybody from passing. The gridlock stretches more than 10 kilometers from the head of the Niger Bridge, weaving a tale of lamentation from motorists. It's a serious problem. We have been passing it so difficult. Yeah. In fact, we have been passing it so difficult. Okay. It's, it's not supposed to be so. We made this go slow since yesterday, around 12 o'clock midnight. Till now, we are still inside the go slow. So I didn't know what caused it so. For members of the Anambra Tax Force on border closure, the reason for the erection of the gate is germane. Engineers are very difficult. They don't seem to understand that this precautionary measure is for their own lives. So the government has given a directive that there should be no interstate movement. Mm. Well, joining me via Skype now is TVC News Delta State correspondent Ikena Amechi. Thank you for joining us, Iken. Now, talk to us, uh, according to reports, uh, there are tensions. This bridge seems to be generating some sort of tensions amongst uh, the people in the state. How so? Uh, good morning, uh, Veronica. Uh, very well. It's actually, first of all, the bridge was erected on a Saturday night, and of course, um, People waking up on a Sunday morning, not a market day in the popular Odisha market, to see the bridge erected. Most people that um, ply their trade in Odisha, the popular Odisha market, some of them live in Asaba, which is um, across the bridge. And uh, so waking up on Sunday morning to see a gate erected over a bridge is something uh, bizarre, something unusual. And um, for the Delta State counterparts, they actually what they did when they saw that, because they put the gate on the two end of the bridge, the Asaba end, and of course the Onicha end, and they had to bring down the Asaba end of the bridge, of the gate rather. And of course, um, uh, the Onicha end is still in place, but the people actually that month, the Sunday morning protested a little bit, which caused their attention on social media. And we went there to find out that actually it's not um, one of those Photoshop issue where you see things happening on Facebook is actually true. There's a gate on the bridge um, that uh, prevents people from you know, moving in and out. But the, the funny thing about the bridge, the gate, is that the pedestrian gate has been blocked completely, um, leaving the main gate for vehicular movement to uh, movement. Uh, they close it intermittently for when I asked the tax force, they actually said that they open, they close it by 8 p.m. in the night, according to the federal government directive of a curfew, and open it 6 a.m. in the morning the next day. Uh, but uh, the fact is, uh, during the day, the pedestrian bridge is closed, and people had to walk through the main uh, uh, bridge, which is causing a lot of vehicular and pedestrian movement. Um, uh, all right, Ikena, uh, from your report, uh, when you spoke to some persons, they said they cannot understand why the bridge was erected. Was there no formal statement made uh, as regards uh, this uh, bridge being made, being the gates uh, when it was being done? Well, for for the people, the Anambra State Government, they said 
they did it for the fact that people are not listening to the fact that there's a border closure, there are movements between the interstate movements, which they want to reduce to the barest minimum. But they put up the gates there, and people are still moving. So the rationale behind putting the gates and movement still continues is something that uh, people cannot phantom. You are making the life of people very, very difficult because by the time they are, uh, you know, trying to share the little space with uh, the vehicular movement there, it might cause, uh, it is dangerous and it might cause some um, harm to people walking. And you know, the, the nature market is a very busy one. And of course, the people going to and fro there is a, quite a busy, and, uh, and on Monday is quite busy. And you saw in my report there, there's a lot of people walking on that bridge and it's not too good. So the rationale behind putting a gate in a bridge and people are still allowed to pass through the bridge is what people could not actually get to understand because it's causing them right. a lot of... Um, One uh, final question before we let you go. So invariably, what you might be saying is that uh, perhaps the gate is not really um, fulfilling the essence while it was uh, fixed in the first place. But then uh, the question remains, uh, does the state have the right, uh, seeing that uh, the bridge is a federal government bridge, and does the state have the right to build a gate on a federal government bridge? That is another question because the fact is that they say that is their own way of actually curtailing a movement of people from the state, which the government, federal government has already said there's inter-border closure. And so that's the way, the crude way they want to actually ensure that people don't have a, a, a movement, a easy movement across the border, but they are still allowing movement. And that is what the Delta State counterpart is actually saying, that there is no need for you to close the bridge or put a, a gate at the bridge when you leave a market and a niche market that people patronize, especially from Delta State here, all around Delta State, they go to Onicha um, to, to buy wares and um, uh, food items, which is allowed by the federal government to actually buy food items and go across the bridge. So if you want a situation whereby people will not pass the bridge, then shut down the Onicha market. That's what the Delta State counterpart is saying. And of course, for the right to build a gate on the top of a bridge is something bizarre, but the state government feel that's the best option to stop people, but they are not actually achieving that purpose at the moment. Okay, Namichi, thank you for bringing us up to date.